So I'm really excited. I'm about to leave for my trip up to Cherry Springs State Park for the Black Forest Star Party. I'm preparing my trailer for our trip and getting my water for the trip. And I just thought it would be a good spot uh, to just take a moment to kind of explain what the Black Forest uh, Star Party is. Um, so I'll be traveling up to Potter County, Pennsylvania to an international dark sky site, which is basically a very uh, dark area with very little light pollution. And I'm going to be doing astronomy with uh, a friend of mine. Dark sky parks are becoming few and far between as city lights take over. And it becomes more and more important that we protect the night sky. So for me to have to drive four hours to go see an event like this is a little bit upsetting, but at the same time, it makes it super exciting. Please come along on this journey with me and find out what it's about to go to the Black Forest Star Party. important aspects of coming to the Black Forest Star Party is the ability to hear the talks from various different people within the astronomy community. Here at these talks we have people such as vendors, astrophotographers, uh, as well as traditional eyeball astronomers, and each of them has their own unique uh, take on how astrophotography or astronomy as a hobby or their part as a vendor is going to be helpful for you uh, getting into this hobby or expanding your current knowledge base. Only to attach a three pound telescope on top. These are the same guys that flaunt their flashy cars and their favorite football team any chance they get. Completely kidding. Uh, this, this, my buddy Adam over there over mounted, he got this massive mount for a telescope this big and it's absurd looking. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. So I know we were here, uh, Adam, last uh, summer, yeah. and you know you were doing some imaging uh, right near me. We didn't know each other, right? Uh, and I stopped by, and and we had a conversation about your your setup. I hear that you're changing your setup this year. Evolving. I know it was working very well already. So what made you decide to want to make a change to your your rig and yeah. and uh, how was your night last night? Because we had a pretty good night. Last night was last night was phenomenal. The night before was phenomenal. Uh, it was great. You know, crystal clear skies, dark. Uh, everything you want when you come to a star party in a dark sky park. Uh, it was great. We were up till 4:15, imaging, and, and a couple of my friends were still up when I went to sleep. It was, it was a great night. Everything you want. What targets were you uh, going after last night? Uh, last night I went after uh, IC 342, uh, which is a really uh, dim surface brightness galaxy. Um, I imaged uh, the Bat and Squid Nebula. Interesting. Uh, Sharpless, I think it's 129, and. Uh, I was back on the Helix Nebula, uh, getting more data on that. Cool. So we just got done with uh, Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard right. giving a talk. So right. uh, 
Is there something that stuck out in your mind about uh, what Trevor talked about this evening, uh, this afternoon? Well, it, what you alluded to and what he alluded to is, you know, your gear is evolving constantly as, as you're evolving as an astrophotographer. You, you want to image new targets that your current existing gear might not be well suited for. Uh, you learn new things, um, and uh, your cons everything's evolving over time. Your, your, your technique, um, the gear you want to use, the targets you want to shoot. Uh, so it's, it's ever-changing. It's, it's not a static hobby. It doesn't feel like a static hobby. So for those of you who uh, don't know Adam, he's a very good astrophotographer. He might not admit to it. No, I won't. Um, I won't. But would you uh, be willing to share your handle that you use on uh, any of the social media, sure. like maybe... Uh, cloudy nights. Uh, cloudy nights. I'm Red Dog 1972. Uh, Instagram. I'm Spaced Out Pics. Uh, that's me on Instagram. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much where I share my. Uh, my, where I share my yeah. Stuff. So if you want to see uh, what Adam has been up to, uh, check those out. Thank you, Adam. Great. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Great. Great talking to you. Great seeing you again. Yep. Have a good one. You too. To be, if you if you know the history at all. Well, uh, Central Pennsylvania Air Observers was established in State College. Uh, some of our, many of our members are Penn State academics, some of our members are postgraduates, grad students, things like that. Uh, we've got a real good spectrum of age group members. And this is our 21st year. 21st, wow. So it was pretty well one of the first events at Cherry Springs on the south of the Fantastic attendance. We've been very, very lucky with the weather over our period here. We share the site with the Harrisburg Astronomy Club. They tend to have their star party at the beginning of the season. We take ours at the, at the end of the season. Uh, and we seem to get a better hit with the weather. And you get to see a completely different set of constellations and objects than that other you observing not, in the not spring? Not really, but the, 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 this end of the year we're getting better daylight, better night time rather. We, we see, uh, just the, we're getting dark here now about seven. People starting to tune up and getting get into the swing of things earlier. And how many years have you personally been coming to this event uh, or these events? Four or five years. Five years. Okay. I ended up as president of the club uh, in December last year. Is there any recommendations that you have for people who are uh, have not been to this event and um, who are coming for the first time? I think the main thing is to book early. Uh, this sells out within a couple of months of putting the tickets on sale, which we do. Uh, out in May uh, and it's really the, the rest of the ethos of the thing is really like any other star party it's full dark sky rules, red light rules uh, this particular site there's no alcohol, things like that there's no special thing here uh, um, but be prepared for the weather being significantly cooler than you'd expect to find if you're coming up from Pittsburgh or Philly. Definitely. We'll definitely lose some heat as you come up here. Yeah, the one thing that I find is people coming for the first time are searching for anybody to give them extra clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm cold, can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> um, is there uh, a website that we can go to and point people to to sign up yeah, for next the, year's the, event? Yeah, our, our uh, website is www.bf bfsp.org that's uh, bfsp black forest star party excellent to remember well thank you steve very You're much welcome. i thank appreciate you. for uh, you having us here today great thank you thank you so in conclusion i just want to say how awesome of a weekend i had at cherry springs this event is something that you really need to come to to understand fully you know i had a really good night on my first night out here friday night um, tonight's actually not going to be so good, but the results of my discussions with people here have been more fulfilling to me than the actual astronomy itself. The networking, the getting out there and talking to people, it really makes you feel like you're part of something bigger, because you are. So next time you question whether or not you should be going to that star party because the weather forecast doesn't look quite right, because you might have a million things going on in your lives. Just take a moment and think about why you do this. It's for you. It's one of the few things that you feel compassion for, that you want to explore your creativity, to understand your universe, and understand how it's closer than you think. You know, for me, I feel like that experience is something 
that cannot be taken away from me. I want you to have that same experience. So thank you for joining us today on Cosmos Safari. The universe is closer than you think.